problem of sexual assault on campuses is enormous. I think it's fair to say that they cover these crimes up. There's a lot of victim blaming. He lectured us about how we shouldn't go out in short skirts. They told me, despite the fact that I had a written admission of guilt, that what I presented to them could only prove that he loved me. We've got a lot further to go. I'm here with Kirby Dick, the director of The Hunting Ground. And, you know, welcome to UC Berkeley. We can see from the film um, that really covers sexual assault on college campuses that UC Berkeley is really uh, prevalently featured in the film. That That's could true. come to a surprise to some, maybe not so much to others. But what drew you to the subject of college campus assaults and then specifically uh, to UC Berkeley? Well, um, I made the film with my producer, Amy Ziering, um, and we had previously made a film called The Invisible War about rape in the military. And when we were taking that film around the college campuses, screening it there, at the, in the Q&As, um, the conversations very quickly turned from rape in the military to rape on college campuses. Mm -hmm. And we were, we were kind of shocked by this. And it, because it, we, I mean, we were aware that it was a problem, but we didn't realize how much it was bubbling up. What we did was, is we, you know, dove into the subject and very quickly realized this is a problem on all college campuses. What we found pretty quickly was that Berkeley had a real problem. And the problem, and maybe that's not so much of a surprise because it's a problem everywhere, but the way Berkeley was responding to these problems what, what, was what was so shocking. And it continues to shock me. I mean, you know, I think of Berkeley, I, of all the schools in this country, I think Berkeley would be the school that would have be addressing this issue more, most progressively, sexual mm -hmm. assault, that they would have solved the problem, that they would be a model for other schools. And in many ways, it's just the opposite. And when you were filming on Berkeley campus and kind of around Berkeley, were you surprised by other developments that might have happened, people that came forward, or was there anything that seemed shocking specifically about this campus? I'm shocked that there's administrators who are here who have, who have lied over and over and over to uh, survivors, who are named repeatedly in the uh, Title IX complaint and are still here. Mm -hmm. um, I think the chancellor um, has done something good. He did meet with uh, survivors once, and, and that's to his credit, I mean, absolutely. But I don't, from what I can tell, he's not including survivors, and particularly the survivor activists, in, in the process of developing new policies and, and, and reforms. And that's so important. How did you um, decide on who to interview and who to feature in the film, and did they come to you? Did you find them? It was a, mostly we found them, but people did come to us as well. And we were, we were tracking stories on about 20, maybe 30 different colleges. And, uh, and then partially we decided on which was, were the most compelling stories or the most well told. We wanted to give audiences a sense that it was happening at all different kinds of institutions all around the country. So we actually polled a number of people of the student body, mm -hmm. body here at Berkeley um, on Facebook and we asked if they had any questions for you about sure. the film or sexual assault in general. And um, one that we got was, do you believe that UC Berkeley actually has higher rates of sexual assault or that students are just reporting incidents more frequently than other campuses? You know, that's hard to answer. And, and the reason is, is because Berkeley, like so many other schools, do, does not do surveys of its, of its students to find out what is the rate of sexual assault. And this is something that they must do, what all schools must do. They must have um, anonymous surveys of their students to find out what is the prevalence of sexual assault, how comfortable people feel with reporting, and how confident they feel in the investigation and adjudication processes. And, and no school can solve this on its own. I mean, it's going to take the student, it's going to take alumni, it's going to take the government to be a part of the solution. And that information has to go public. And until a school does this, they are continuing to cover up the problem. It's a, it's a heavy topic and obviously it's, it's really eye-opening and people need to see it, but was there anything enlightening or rewarding about cre like creating this film? So even though it's a very serious subject, it's also very inspiring to watch. You know, we were able to capture the rise of a student movement from the very beginning, or nearly the beginning, all the way to where it is today. So it's very in inspiring and in some ways hopeful. Alright, well thank you. Um, we really encourage everyone to come out and see The Hunting Ground. Um, it's playing on campus here, and uh, hopefully it's welcomed with, with open arms and a critical eye, and uh, people really start to listen to the problem. Thank you. It was great to meet with you. This is director Kirby Dick, and I'm Madeline Zdoblik, and this is Kelsey V Entertainment.